I may end up having to turn down the music, but anyways. Ah, yeah, I just need to take a break here. Ah, overwhelmed would be the word. Um, I thought about it, uh, I think the day after. And, um, I think I made a the last video I did. Um, and I mentioned that, uh, you know, the litter box wasn't there in the bathroom anymore. And, um, the carrier wasn't there anymore. I was still at the vets. Um, I don't think I ever said, like, uh, I had, uh, I put Elsa to sleep on, uh, Tuesday. On Monday, I talked to the vet about it. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was all for the best, uh, for her. Um, I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't have the overhead to, you know, uh, to have had to, had, to have had her examined, find out what the issue is, pay for that, and then the aftercare, um, and then there's something coming up here, and, and yeah, I, it just, um, and she went, uh, she went downhill pretty quick. I, I, this, this video actually wasn't meant to be about this, but I, I remembered that I remembered that I hadn't, and I didn't want to make it like a drama thing, like the night before, um, our last night together, I was going to do a video, or actually I did do a video, um, and I think that's why I did, when I did the second video, I just didn't even think that after I did the video uh, of Elsa's last night, um, I just thought it was, like, I, I didn't want, I didn't want people to think that I was, like, being dramatic and, like, trying to get views, because I really don't fucking care. I don't have enough followers. I don't have enough views um, to do anything, so it's not something I pursue. Views. I just upload the fucking things, and if people watch them, they watch them. Now, uh, back to, yeah, all that. So that video never went up. Um, and um, so then, yeah, I did the video the next day. It was like, rattling off all this stuff and then the day after that I was like oh shit I don't think I ever announced that El Elsa has uh, left us um yeah so <laughs> so overwhelmed yes uh so that happened um and then I think I had explained about my Medicare that my card had uh, gone to an old address and become deactivated and then I found out that my prescription drug coverage like you pay like a fee and all of, it's like an insurance thing, like all, all my medication is like five dollars, like across the board. There's a couple I think are a little bit more expensive, but not exuberant. Like the, uh, how much have I spent so far? Like 200 plus on medication. Uh, and when you're used to paying five dollars <laughs> for medication, uh, fuck. Anyways, it's a clusterfuck and that paperwork's going out. And I, yeah, I had to reapply to the fucking program. Um, like the whole fucking, oh, Jesus Christ, government. Um, so that, and then, so that, that happened before. So, financially, I'd been kind of doing all, you know, like, all right. And, um, you know, it, and then this happened. So, it's been, like, such a long time, uh, that I struggled. Uh, and then I hit this period of not having to struggle, and then... Yeah, it's just not happening at the right time, and then Elsa, and then today, the reason why I'm making this fucking video, is my, uh, washing machine over there, over there, and, and I really love the machine, it's a fucking awesome machine, it does a great job, but when it, it has, like, a, a, a dirty water hose, so when the drum empties, and basically it saddles over the sink, and, um, drains into there, <laughs> and uh it hooks on and i've got an extra hook on it um and you know i i my landlady would needed help and i, I and i felt semi safe enough to leave it but i did leave a timer kind of to get back here right when like i had an idea of when you know the the water was going to come out and i was just a couple minutes too late and it it, it had kind of the hose had kind of janked and hopped a bit and yeah all the water came like across the counter ran down here and when i got in there was like water you know over to about here oh, my foot, there we go. like about here all the way out and then uh, my brother gave me this beautiful carpet that was uh it's very much like a carpet we had 
um, at our place when we were growing up. The one that was here <laughs> and if it were not for that carpet acting as a, a a big sponge because it's like crocheted so it's really thick uh fabric um like wool and uh and then also it's got the uh like the kind of the binding that holds it together so it just sucked up the fucking water it, it thank god hopefully i got the carpet drying um hopefully it'll be okay um but yeah water was heading for like electrical here and coming over to the door over here when I came in. And it was a bad day body-wise just because the weather's changed, it's getting milder. And um, it's going to rain for quite a bit. And I was just feeling like shit today. Uh, yeah, so then the apartment kind of half floods. And I had to fuck... Oh, oh yeah, the, the cupboards. Uh, even, even though it went... <laughs> even though it went over here, but it managed to get inside... And there's a lip down there, so everything, I had to pull out everything, and there's, there was a lot of shit, I'll admit. It was a, it helped me clean it out, um, because I threw a lot of shit out. Um, but yeah, it soaked fucking everything that was in there, so I had to pull everything out of there. And, like I've been explaining to my, whoop, my fingers been, uh, like I've been explaining to people, um, like, this is you know, this is my fucking place, right? Like, there's a bathroom, um, and pulling out everything here, and the water, and the washing machines there, and, yeah, it was just very fucking overwhelming, um, I had to dry everything off, and, and, yeah, pull out everything out of there, and wipe the bottom of everything, and anything that was fucking cardboard just disintegrated, like, the garbage bag, uh, box just, like, fucking fell apart, and it, you know, I mean, it wasn't even that much water that got in, like, but, and it wasn't even that long even, but, yeah, everything that was cardboard just fucking disintegrated, so, thumbs up, people who make things to disintegrate and help the environment, because you did a good job with the cardboard, holy fuck, so, yeah, there's, like, shit, like, like the baggies, like, <laughs> all the Ziploc bags, um, I just, there's, yeah, I don't have a box for them anymore, <laughs> It was kind of funny. Anyhow, so, yeah. It just, shit. <laughs> oh, I did my fingers again there, too. Oh, this is a shitty video. It's been a fucking shitty day. Um, yeah. And, uh, uh, it wasn't the right time for it to happen. Um, there's never, well, I mean, it would have been any other day. It probably would have been alright. But, um, yeah. It was not fun. Um, what else is going on? Mm, I'm still waiting for the, uh, my landlady, so they're renovating apartments in this building house, and, um, I'm waiting on some work in the other apartment here to be done before the stove that they're holding in my, uh, my camp there, um, and that big tub thing. Well, actually, I'm hoping this weekend that, uh, maybe Marion can get that big thing on wheels out of there. Because if she brings a trailer off, she can just fucking take it out of there. The this, this stove can stay there uh, until need be. But, yeah, it would be great just to get some more space. Because um, I'm getting close to, A, uh, getting my scooter together. And, B, I want to get up and uh, prepare to um, start going through boxes in the attic. And uh, see what kind of crazy, cool things we'll find. Um... I, I would do unboxings, but all the boxes are, like, super huge, and a lot of stuff, so there's, they're, like, boxes within boxes, and sometimes boxes within boxes within boxes of boxes, but, yeah, it's, to do an unboxing would be, like, a part one, two, and three of one box kind of thing, because it would just take a lot uh, to do unboxings, but uh, I think that, yeah, actually, that's a good idea, I just saw that now. Um, and there's some pretty cool, uh, collectibles that I've got, because I didn't, I, there's some stuff that's pretty standard, like the Todd McFarlane toy line in the 1990s, like Spawn stuff, um, but I've got some other unique things, because I tried, for the most part, to try and collect things that other people didn't collect, things that were a little bit, uh, off the beaten path, and not as popular, um, in the hopes that somebody, you know, will have, uh, the same passion port that I did, and, you know, they'll want to buy it kind of thing. So, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but still, that's a ways away. And, um, yeah, 
It's um, getting into spring, and the weather's going to hopefully get better at some point. And I'm going to try and relax, try and relax, try and relax.